In this video, I'll be showing you how to download ClickSat 3.0 and use the new feature in order to run models on the Osmosis Cloud. ClickSat 3.0 can be used as an offline version just like the previous ClickSense. In this case, you would need to download not just the ClickSense that I'll be showing you in this video, but also the other files or software needed to run ClickSense. For this, please refer to the video in the description that shows how to install ClickSand on a Mac. In this new ClickSand, you can generate a TXT file which runs on Osmosis Cloud and runs much quicker than the previous files. So to begin with, first what we're going to do is download ClickSand. It can be found on the Zenodo repository under Climate Compatible Growth ClickSand 3.0 for Mac. The link to this is provided in the description. On this page, you will see the file called ClickSend Mac App. It's a zip file. Download the file. Once the file has been downloaded, unzip the file. Double clicking on it should do it. However, you might require an extension for this. Then you'll see the ClickSand Mac logo. Double click on this. First, it's going to say that it cannot be verified. Click on Cancel, then right click and click on Open. It will bring an error message like this again. However, click on Open. Here you'll see that there's a third button, Generate Osmosis Cloud Input Data. This is the button that you shall be working with. However, before proceeding to show you how this works, in order to visualize results offline with the new ClickSand, you're also going to need something that is called a converter. In order to download this, you need to go to the Hands-On 3 Zenodo repository. The link to this site is also given in the description. Over here, when you scroll down, you will see something called a conversion app. Download this. The file comes in a zip file, so double click on it to open it. Once this has been opened, click on open. Click on OK, click on Open again, and click on Open once more. It may take some time before the conversion app opens. This is how the file looks. I will show you later how to use this in order to generate the results offline. Going back to ClickSend now, that was the new button over here. And now I will be showing you how you can generate the new data source and run this on the Osmosis Cloud. What we're showing you with is Hands-On 8. So I have Hands-On 8 open. Like previously, when you had to run a model on a Mac, you had to go to the to data file, select everything by clicking on the top left and then pressing command C in order to copy it, then press command spacebar, type in text edit and open text edit. Once it opens up, click on file, click on new, in the format, click on new plain text and command V to paste. It could take some time before this pastes.
once this has pasted, command S to save. Let's call this HOH. And we save this in the HOH folder. Now, if we go to the HOH folder, we will see that there's a TXT file set over here. What we need to do is go back to Quicksand and under Data Source, select this file. So we click on the three dots on the right and select this and click on OK. Then we simply press Generate Osmosis Cloud Input Data. You will get a message saying Converting Files for Osmosis Cloud Input Data. Going back to the folder, we can see that there's a new file that's been generated. This is the file that you'll be using to run on the Osmosis Cloud. However, you will also need a different code. The code can be found on the link of hands-on how to run a sand TXT file on the Osmosis Cloud. This is in the Zenodo repository, repository and you can find the link of this in the video description. Over here, when you scroll down, you'll see something called Osmosis Cloud, Osmosis Code Cloud TXT. Download this. To Osmosis Cloud. Instructions on how to access Osmosis Cloud are given in a different video, and you can find the instructions in the description, the link to the video. Then you click on New Run. You call your model, let's say HOH. For the model file, you select the model that you just downloaded. So this is the Osmosis Cloud one, Osmosis Cold Cloud. And for the data file, what you need to select is the data file that was generated using the new clicksand. You select large server and create one. When the tab opens up, click on Start Run. You will see that there is a reference energy system already here on the left. And we wait for the run to be completed.
Once the model succeeds, there is two ways in which you can view the results. And was rather quick. And this is the case because a lot of the things that are not used in the model, so a lot of the data has been filtered out using that button on the new click send. So two ways to view the results. The first one is the online version, and you can do it by clicking on this button over here. Here you can see the results displayed. You can enlarge this and there's a set of different options to play around with here. This is one of your options for viewing the results. The second one involves viewing them offline. To do this, you need to download results, but make sure you download it from the left button. So not the button that says CSV, the one over here. Once it downloads, open it. You will find three files over there, and the one you're interested in is the one called results. Now, you will need to go back to the converter that we downloaded initially. Over here, select input file, locate the place where you have downloaded the results into. So in this case, it's over here, and I select results and click on open. The output directory, I will select the folder in which I'm working, so HO8. Name will be HO8 underscore results. Save output file name and run. Conversion runs successfully. Now what I'll need to do is come back into ClickSend and export templates into this folder. Click OK. Then Going back into the folder in which I'm working, I will open the results template Excel file. Enable content. Then what I need to do next is go to results data from row 2 up to column L, so I select that by holding down command and shift and the right arrow, I select everything, and while still holding shift and command, I click on the bottom arrow to select all the data, and I delete this. Then I go back into the folder, and over here, the HO8 results, the one that we just generated, I open this using Excel. Once this opens up, I click on the second row and repeat the same steps of command shift right arrow until column L, then the bottom arrow, and then while holding command, I control C, command C in order to copy this. Then I go back into the results template and I command D, command S to save. Now, what I need to do is let's say if I want to view annual electricity production, just go over here, click on Pivot Table Analyze, and click on Refresh. Here I can see the results in an offline version, selecting the technologies over here like previous. So this is how you use the new ClickSand 3.0, and it gives you the two options to visualize results, both online and offline, and at the same time your models run a lot quicker. Thank you for watching.